it's princess back with another tutorial how to a with mixer and this time we're going to use a program called firebot this is to help you get some interactive buttons if that's what you're looking for on your profile i know not everyone's into it but if you are here it is on how to so first you're going to go onto your internet browser depending on what you're using i use chrome and you're just going to log in to mixer and to start off you're going to start a new project so you're going to go click your icon here and then you're going to click on dev lab and you're going to click mix play project here from mix play project you can see i already have two projects so just for testing purposes i'm going to show you out how to start off from scratch you're going to create a new project here and you're going to name the project so we're going to just name this a test and actually this should be other because this is actually not a game this isn't a game that already exists and you're going to save it so if you want you could put any information here it's completely up to you but unless you're publishing it to everyone for mixer to approve it i highly advise not to um and then here you're going to go into your build and this is where you're actually going to build your buttons so here we're going to do test but one and click add and here you want to add some information so this is the name that people can see when they see the button on their screen uh, test but one um, the spark cost so how much it's going to cost for them to actually push that button let's say 60 sparks you could also change the color of your text so if you click on this box here and you can pick any color you want the text to be so let's say white and then you could also change your background color here you change it to black and we're gonna add this one just as is so we're just gonna close it here now you could also do other things uh, test but two not two three I'm gonna add that here you could also do things such as uh, image. So if you want to, let's see, I should have some images somewhere. Um, let's see what we have here. Just throw in a random image. Um, let's see, Facebook. I'm going to copy this link here. And we're going to just throw that in here and we're gonna leave everything else the same and I have no idea why this zoomed in so weird okay and then the spark cost is gonna be zero alright so we're just gonna leave it at that with the two buttons um like I said this is just for uh, educational purposes so we're just gonna throw it in here so this here is your window so anyone who's watching you via windows this is how it's gonna look so for windows you could always make it look bigger because there's obviously so much more room and it honestly depends on how you want it you can have it any size you want as long as it fits within the box um, you can have it overlaying but then it's gonna look kind of funky so you kind of don't want to do that too much um, for anyone using a tablet this is how it would look so how you want to organize it is completely up to you I'm just throwing them in there just because it's just a project that I'm showing you all right and then this is for mobile users so after that you want to click save now we're going to go into firebot so we just did our preparatory stage um now in firebot you see i already have buttons here but we're going to pretend like i don't have them so you're going to add a new board so it's asking you here for a code for your board so the code is here for that one specific board so you're just going to copy it and you're just going to throw it in here and click add board and now i have it now if you don't have your uh program here set up it's probably because you need to like actually log in so up here they'll ask you to log in manage logins you just gotta log into your bot so you just click on it and then make sure you log into each profile if you only want to use just your one profile and not a bot that's fine too um just be aware you always need to select that the streamer selection that way you don't end up with any issues so that's how you do that there so now I have these two test buttons um, let's see go back to my profile I have to 
There we go. Okay, so now we see that we have the background here. The buttons are here as a test and test button one. You see the sparks here and test button two. So now you, they can push them. Um, so that's how that looks. You could also make like little giphy backgrounds, which I usually have. So you can make custom commands. Um, you could also make custom buttons with AVI. So here I'm going to show you here. Let's say I want to do a custom command for my subs here. Um, we're going to do cooldown of 4000. I'm going to do subs only. And then you're going to add your effect. So there's so many effects here that you can do. So you want to have, let's say, a chat relay. Let's see, chat right here. Send a message. And for people who don't have a bot, you're just going to click streamer here and put hello, Cupid. Welcome to the royal kingdom. And then we're going to add that and save. So now here in my channel, if we throw in Cupid, now that command pops up. It'll only pop up for the streamer or for subscribers. So any subscriber will have access to this. All right, so we're just gonna edit this one. So now you could add play sounds. So here, if you wanna do a ringtone, you just select the play sound here, and then you choose your file, and then you click save. So once they throw that uh, command in chat, then it'll pop up with a sound. So let's say I have this one set up. So that's the ringtone that popped up. Um, it's a giggity giggity. I don't know if you guys heard that. There are plenty of things that you can do. Let's say, uh, let's say a dad joke. Let's see here. And then we'll do this uh, 60 seconds. And this can be for anyone. And I'm going to add effect. So this is going to be API button. And I'm going to choose dad joke here. And it's going to go to tap. And it's going to go by streamer. And we're going to click add. And click save. So now here in mixer, just click dad joke. And there he goes. The dad joke just pulled out and they're completely random. Um, I'm not sure. Yes, so streamers don't have a cooldown for this. And there you have it. Those are a couple things and a couple features on um, Firebot. Um, you can also do some cooldowns. So let's see, you have your hotkeys you could also set up here, which I don't really do, but you can definitely do them if you like, like especially if you have a stream deck, definitely work out. Um, let's see, you have your inactive button, so you can make these inactive if you want, if you don't, if you get annoyed by a button, just click this, active command and click save, and then it's like no longer active. The same thing with the buttons, if you don't like the buttons anymore, yet, yet it's annoying you, click the active button, and now it's not active, and click save. It's as simple as that, so now like it's grayed out, no one can use it, it'll show up, but no one can use it. Um, you can, but no one else can. Streamer can bypass it. All right, and let's see what other things I can show you here. There was a cooldown. So here, you click that gears button by the buttons, and then you can set like groups of cooldowns. So like, if I want to have like just these five set to like um, five minute cooldown. Well, let's see. Let's see one minute. So 60 seconds. I don't feel like doing math for seconds right now. <laughs> uh, quick buttons. Quick button. And save. So now I have like three buttons that are 60 seconds. And then I have all these other buttons here that are saved for like 120 seconds as a cooldown. So there you have it. If there is something else that you need help with um, specifically to this program, just let me know. 
I'll try to work you through it. I'll try to help you as much as I can. Um, if you want more in depth and detail, I mean, I, I think I covered the basics. And if I went too fast, I'm sorry. You could always slow down the video on YouTube, I promise. Um, but yeah, that's a couple, couple basics there. A lot of people already know about the program and there's a lot of how-tos already out there. I just wanted to briefly cover a couple topics for some people that asked me to. So if you liked the video, you thought it was helpful, um, please like, comment, share. Um, like I said, if you had any trouble, also let me know. I want to be able to be there to help you and try to make another video to help explain as much as I can. I like these how-tos because there's not so many of them out there and sometimes they're super hard to find or sometimes they're just not easy to follow. So like I said, if it wasn't, let me know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys on the next how-to or the next um, fun video that I post on YouTube. So I'll see you guys around. Hopefully you catch my live stream at mixer.com slash PR underscore princess. Bye.